Hello, I'm Sean the Cotney Charmer and I am playing Astroneer on Xbox One, part of the preview program and idea Xbox. Um, this quick video is just to show you how to make vi uh, vehicles in the game. Uh, the first vehicle you will make is the buggy. For that you need a vehicle bay workstation which takes four pieces of aluminium to craft that alone. Um, and then you can start building the design so you research along the way. The first thing you get is the buggy. It's a default one. Uh, you need four uh, blocks of compound to make it. Now when you, ma when you make a vehicle, all you're really creating is the body of the vehicle. You will need to create a seat to go on top and provide power for it. Now seats you can get from the printer. It's one of the basic designs. It takes two blocks of compound. And sometimes when you're exploring you find um, spaceship wreckage, you can also find seats in there. Um, what I tend to do is, I tend to make, for the buggy, I just put a single seat on top and then I make a solar panel which you can make with your suit to help power it up during the day. You can also add power packs and power capsules to continue to charge. But a buggy is a very handy little thing for getting about. It's very quick, it's very good for exploring greater distances than you can walk. It's also very handy when you're exploring caves and you start finding the unknown materials. That you then have to carry back in order to research and you can just plonk it on the back of the buggy which you will see me do now as i start exploring with it it's very easy to drive i always especially if it's nearing night time in the game i will try and add an extra little power pack to the vehicle that way you don't run out of power as you're driving around um, you can also see that it will also tether itself to your tether lines um, so keep it so it will take power from the base if you have spare power there and also for oxygen you can also use your vehicle um, as a source to start tethering so if you're just exploring around the planet and you do what I do which is coming up which is to find a cave what you can do you can then use the vehicle to start your tether to provide you with a source of oxygen and power as you explore the cave which is really handy so it's a real great way of exploring a planet using the buggy it can it's quite unstable though you, if you hit a rock you can go flying and there have been a couple of times because of games in preview where i've been knocked out of the buggy and i've literally gone through the floor inside the planet okay so what we do now um i've now it's going to show you a second vehicle to build um, I learnt this design by researching something I found in a cave and it gave me this design to build a shuttle. Now, shuttle and spaceships allow you to actually leave the planet and visit other worlds to set up um, new bases there as long as you research the habitat, which is, an, which is the, basically the capsule that you start in. So as long as you've researched the capsule called the habitat, travelling off world will allow you to set up bases on different planets. So, vehicle bay once again takes four aluminium blocks to build the the work the vehicle bay workstation. Surprisingly, to build this shuttle only takes you only you only need compound, um, which surprised me. It's the same material you use to build a buggy, and it takes four blocks of compound to build a shuttle. Like the buggy, and like all vehicles, you will need to provide a seat. Uh, well, at first I thought it required a habitat because I thought the outline looked like a space capsule but in the end it was just a single seat. Um, now spaceships and shuttles differ from um, the buggy in as much as they need actual rocket fuel uh, in order to power them. Um, you will find the fuel in, ca in cave systems. Um, at this point in this playthrough I've actually found quite a bit of fuel before I found a design for the space for the shuttle, um, so I've actually got enough fuel to fill it up, which you'll see shortly. Um, that's me building a chair using the works the 3D printer workstation, which is very very handy. Um, you can get multiple seats. You can play co-op with this, so this is a single seat. You can actually have two or three seats at once, so you can seat your friends with you. Um, this is me as I was testing, it, thinking I could put a capsule on top but then realizing i don't have any compounds so i'll work with the seats anyway flying spaceships um it's a bit tricky to start off with um i will say this 
do make sure you have enough fuel to fill it up before you take off. Um, the first time I got to build a, a spaceship which is uh, probably at twice the size of the shuttle. Um, I went up with very minimum fuel, so basically I was allowed, I was able to make one trip. I went to another, I went to the moon that is around this uh, the planet I was on, and it ended up getting stuck because I didn't have any fuel, and there was no fuel on the moon that I was on, which did not help. So as you can see, I'm filling up the uh, the shuttle with fuel that I have uh, collected around. Now flying the shuttle is different because it's not like a plane. You basically, you, you basically, with so far from what I've tried, with the shuttle and the spaceship, all you can do is take off, go into orbit, and then pick a location you want to go, whether it's a different planet or back to where you came from. Um, now beacons that you can build and use during a the game, they, I know, I learned this now. They actually serve as a landing beacon as well as a directional beacon on the ground so when you're in space you can highlight the planet with the left trigger and then you can move and select a zone in which to land on um, so make sure you keep an eye on where you're going there we are we're in space I do love the visual in this game it's really sweet so there's no direct control you literally leave orbit and then pick a place to land so as you can see, uh, currently this shuttle can only reach the planet we're on and that little moon that's orbiting it. Um, but because I hadn't, I hadn't got a, um, a habitat with me in order to set up another base, I didn't want to risk going to the moon, using up all my fuel and getting stuck again. So this is me now learning how to land the shuttle. See all those blue domes, those are the beacons that I've placed in my exploring. Um, I'm now about to use the left trigger to highlight one. Any second now. There we go. So I've selected I've selected a home base. So it's just to return me uh, to the home base. It will put it will land and connect me right back to the vehicle bay workstation. If you land at another beacon, you will just land on the ground and then you take off in exactly the same way as um, you did before. So. Thank you for watching. I've been Sean the Cotter Charmer. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and give the channel a like. Thank you for watching. Be safe, be lucky, and happy gaming. Take care.